Oh. Now, a range of government services can now be accessed through so-called smart speakers. Using voice activation, you'll be able to apply for passports and make state pension inquiries without even touching a computer. Well, in Birmingham is Taj Dono, the chief executive of an app development company, Soundpipe Media. Morning to you. Um, look, I, I like my tech, I like my smart speakers, um, but is, is this really a sensible move forward? Because we're talking about some pretty sensitive information here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think Alexa is quite, well, you know, those kind of devices, those... Uh, artificial intelligent ones are really uh, they're interesting there's a good it's a good concept however I think it comes with a lot of flaws in terms of um, you know it's, it's constantly listening to you and that that's fearful for me I think you know if, if it's constantly listening to everything you're saying you know and is recording it it's always take it's taking your you know all that information your data um, your, your personal information and it's, it's storing it somewhere and which can potentially be hacked in the future so for me, I think that's, you know, it, it, it opens up a lot of, you know, can of worms. I, I think it's quite dangerous for me. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, but as, as, as far as that goes, I mean, anyone, anyone using an, an app or anyone using, you know, like a banking app or anything else, I mean, as secure as we're told they are, I mean, that information is still being stored somewhere. So every, everything is susceptible to hacking. Yeah, that's true. Um, however, I think it's the matter of if, if you're using that app in your phone or, you know, it's using that, that kind of data but I feel I feel the conversations that you're having on a day-to-day -day basis and that's storing somewhere I think that's probably taking a bit too far yeah but I mean, we, we need to be clear don't we that I mean things like uh, Amazon Echo and, and the, 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 the Google stuff Google Home and, and Siri and all that sort of thing they, they hear they hear what you're saying waiting for a trigger word but they're not recording anything until you trigger them yes and no Anything that has a voice command that say, for example, I say Google or Siri do this without me pressing a button, um, you know, like with Siri, I think it is a little bit different because you have to press a button and then it activates it. But if I say it's something and a voice command it, then that's the danger part. That's the danger point because that's continuously listening to that voice command. You, you understand what I mean? So if I yeah, but it's say, not. I mean, and, and to be fair, Siri is purely voice activated as well. Uh, but it's it's. Um... It's a case of, of what information is being actually then recorded and stored, and it's only after you trigger something. Mm, not really. It has to... Well, it yes, it is. Control. I mean, that, that, it, it, that, that is the case, that information is only recorded and stored after you trigger. So the device is constantly hearing, but it's not listing and recording until it, it receives the trigger command. I mean, that's, that's not up for debate. Mm, I don't know. I've I, I, I got a different point on that, because it has to continuously listen. In order yes, for that but voice, it's, yeah, voice to yeah, Taj. Let's let, let's just get this right because we don't want to get sort of all these big companies getting in touch and complaining about this. It is hearing, but the recording and then this working out what you're saying it doesn't happen until you trigger the device with a keyword. You, yes, but if it has to listen to Alexa, it has to listen to other things as well, doesn't it? Well, yes, it hears it, but it waits for a trigger word before anything. Because obviously the concern about using sensitive information and doing things like passports, whatever it might be, is that that information is then recorded once you've triggered the, the, the command. Um, and that presumably then can be monitored. But that's the important part of this, not, not the general conversations we're having in the house that, that actually aren't being recorded. <laughs> the problem is it's hard to determine whether something is being recorded and not being recorded if you if you know what i mean you're saying after alexa says something then it starts recording but it has to still continue recording before it to listen to alexa you know they have to listen to that command so it's yeah, they're not recording, recording anything though taj let's 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 be clear about it. i know you seem to be stuck on this one that's not record it's not recording anything we're talking about what happens after you give a command okay after you if you if you want to say that it's, it's recording after that command but i think um, also it's personally communicating that speech to text as well so it's creating that data that continuously records and is storing in a database so it's it's collecting information and it's all data that's collecting so it's converting it all into data and into a database so they they're not going to sit there listening to thousands and millions of conversations it's going to have to convert it all into text into data that can be easily searchable okay Taj we've got to leave it there good to talk to you thank you still to come all the sports